here from the Fun Fit Academy back with another home workout video for you. Today we are going to be going through an abs workout. This abs workout is going to be 12 minutes long. So very short but very intense at the same time. So this is perfect to do at the end of another workout which I am literally just doing now or you can do it before bed or whatever you get a spare 12 minutes in your day to be able to hit this workout. Very simple workout once again. We have four exercises we're going to be performing. We're going to be doing it for 30 seconds, then rest it for 30 seconds. I'm going to do each round three times, okay? So it works out to be 12 minutes. Very simple, very effective, and it'll really get them abs working. So, so my suggestion is to get some sort of mat or a towel, wherever you are, find some space, grab some water like usual. I've got my timer here, which we're going to be going by, and we're going to be starting with the first exercise, which is going to be a crunch, which I'm going to show you now. And once again, we'll be going through each exercise over the first round to make sure you know what you're doing. So come down onto your mats. You won't need too much of a warm-up, but if it is a fresh warm-up, then make sure you do some sort of little bit of a warm-up just to get you going. But if you just finished the workout, then don't worry about going straight into this, all right? So come down onto your mat or your towel, wherever you are, for your first one, and it's going to be a crunch, okay? So you're going to lie yourself back, get yourself onto the mat, and we're going to do hands on your legs, and what you're going to do is crunch there, all right? Your feet stay planted, you, st you keep everything in line, including your head, all right? And you focus on contracting your core and your abs here, all right? Main thing, main thing with anything to do with abs is all about your breathing. So as we are crunching up, we want to be exhaling with regards to our breathing, okay? So important when it comes to your ab training, all right? So I'm going to be constantly reminding you through this, through this workout, all right? So get yourself ready, 30 seconds of work on the crunch. That's going to wake everything up in the core, ready to go, all right? Three, two, one, let's do this, all right? So crunch. It's not about how quick you do it, it's all about the control, all right? So remember, breathe in as you come up, all right? That's the main thing with this. So you keep it in line, keep your chin tucked in, and work, all right? Really crunch up, get everything working. This is really going to start firing up on them abs. Remember, it's only 12 minutes, so keep breathing. Oh, all right, fairly easy start. Fairly easy, all right? Your second, second exercise is called a heel tap, okay? So you're gonna, again, gauge your core, and you're gonna reach round and touch the heel. Now, if it's too hard, bring your heels in closer. If you want a bit more intensity, a bit more harder, reach round and push your heels further away, okay? That's the second exercise. Same again, we 30 second. It's not about how quick you do it, it's all about that controlled motion. Everything to do with abs is controlled. All right, so let's go, reach. Reach, okay? Breathe still. Keep it all engaged here. All engaged. There. So keep it going. There. Reach round. Go for a little pause in the middle each time as well. All right, so you're there. And this is going to be working all down your obliques, down the sides here. I'm getting every range of it. Keep burning. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so next one is called a plank up and down. Okay, so we're gonna be in a plank position. We're gonna have elbows in line with your shoulders. You're gonna come up here, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna come here, back down. So there's a bit of movement, okay? Keep your hips in line, all right? So don't lift them. You may start to feel it as you get tired, but try and keep them down and engaged as much as possible, all right? And as you press up, make sure you're in line with your shoulders. So you come up, there, back down, all right? Still controlled. Now to make it a little bit easier, you can go for a wider stance. Harder, bring it in there, all right? So wherever you feel you need to, you can keep it there. But you've got to keep it all engaged. You've got to keep working. So that's really going to get you working. Make sure you're still in line with your shoulders. Oh, that will burn. That's hard already, all right? Remember, only three rounds on this, okay? Okay, the fourth and final exercise we're gonna be doing is just gonna be a, what's called a hollow body hold, okay? So you're gonna, onto your back, you're gonna get your legs here, and you're just going to lift your shoulders, pin the lower back into the floor, and hold there, all right? All about getting your feet in line, keep your feet together, and make sure you're holding that core nice and tight. Main thing with this, 
Keep breathing. So many people hold their breath on this. All right, so hold. Come up a bit further if you feel you can't feel it, wherever, but I'm really feeling that here. It's all on you. That's really gonna start to burn. Over halfway, that will burn. Come on, hold. Keep the legs together, keep working. Oh. Wow. All right, round one done. Two more rounds left, okay? So, now you can see why, now you can see why we only need three rounds, because that is gonna burn. These ones are gonna burn. So everything should be working now, you should be really feeling it. And if you're doing it just after another workout, like I am, it's really gonna be tough, okay? So we're gonna go back into that crunch, remember? Back down. Okay, reach. Now it's gonna to get tough, okay? Still try and keep that control motion and don't throw yourself up. A lot of people will throw themselves up. Keep your hands here and reach. Even if you only go for a small movement like that, it really starts to burn and push through, okay? But keep your hands out of it, keep working. Ah, come on. Ah. Oh. That's tough, that's tough. Okay, heel taps next, okay? Give yourself to serve, you got to stretch off if you need to. Just keep it there. Little burners, little burners. All right, so it's really, really important. Remember the main things that we spoke about, breathing. Just remember to breathe, guys, because so many people don't do it, and it makes it 10 times harder, okay? Let's do it. Heel taps. So find your range, all right? Again, a little pause in the middle. I'll probably go a little bit too quick at that one. It's very easy, very easy to get carried away and just go quick. Because you think the faster you go, the easier it is. But then you start to lose the quality that you're doing. 10 seconds, come on, keep going. Ah. Okay, get yourself ready for this next one because this is tough. Plank up and down. Okay? Main thing is hand and arm your shoulder, hand and arm your shoulder. Okay? Elbow, hand. Don't let it go out because you'll start to feel it in your shoulders. Okay? Okay, get ready. 10 seconds. Just keep it controlled. It's not about how quick you do this, it's all about keeping that quality, keep your breathing. Remember, go wider with your stance if you need to, and go. Come on, focus. Come on. Ah. Ten seconds. Ah. That's tough. That is tough. All right. Hollow body. So on that one, on that plank up and down, if you do really, really start to struggle, especially on this third round, and you can't press anymore, just hold the plank, okay? Hold in the plank position, all right? Okay, hold your body. Remember, pin the lower back into the floor, keep your core strong. We're going to the last round after this. All right, hold there. Hands down by your side, reach up. It's all about your position. Everyone's gonna have a different position on this where they're gonna feel it. For there, for me, that's there. You might have to come a bit further, you might not be able to come a bit further. Wherever you can feel it, switch on that core and work, come on. Come on, five seconds. Right guys, last round coming up. Grab a drink. Abs are burning. That's what we want. Okay. Crunch first. Last round on it. Then we're done. Here we go. Crunch. Breathe. Come on. 
Come on. So remember, exhale. Big jump, all right? Big exhale. Come on. Ah, come on. Go. So it's a small movement, but it still works. And if it's not, make sure you're doing it properly. Come on. Heel tap, okay? Don't do, don't do it all nice and quick. Keep that pause, keep the control. Work for here, work for your obliques, everything, okay? Get ready. Let's go. Let's see if you can go a little bit further if you can. Don't worry if you can't. Just keep the nice weak rounds. So I'm gonna go a little bit further still. So I'm just about hitting the heels now. Just, just. Still keep the control. Come on. Oh. Right, two left. This is by far the most difficult one. Plank up and down. Come on, last time around, that's it. 12 minutes and we're done, okay? Last push. Remember, if you just if you start to struggle with the press, just hold the plank. Just hold it. All right. Come on. Let's go. Keep it in line. Keep it controlled. So if you start to struggle, you can hold it. Come on, halfway. Uh. Uh. Ten seconds, hips in line. Uh. 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 Okay, let's do it. Final one. Hollow body. Thirty seconds of work. And 12 minutes done. Get ready. Remember, find your position, wherever that may be, and get ready. Go. Come on, 30 seconds, and then we're done. It's all over the mind matter, mind over matter. Come on, 15 seconds. Keep the pins low back into the floor. Keep working, come on. Ah. 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 Wow. Okay, job done. 12 minutes, 12 minutes up workout, done and just did. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, it's all about the quality, your breathing. The more you do this, the better you'll get, and the more range of motion you'll get, and you'll help with the rest of your workouts, keeping that nice, strong core. Guys, thank you for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. And as always, make sure you have a good stretch down after, good cool down, and please like, comment, and subscribe if you do enjoy it. But until next time, I'll catch up with you in the next workout.